one. I'd like to welcome Jay Prophet and Tom Moraz to the show. I understand you have some uh, information that you'd like to pass along to our users, so let's get to it. Thanks, Jim, for having us back. Um, yeah, so uh, in March, we had sent out a communication of the alternate account transition uh, to the new statewide defaults that were being established in Fiscal. And um, with that, we had put at the end of the communication that we would be contacting you with the plan on on the alternate account cleanup effort. Well, that time has now come and here we are ready to start that cleanup effort. And we do have a timeline of trying to finish by the end of the calendar year, uh, the fiscal calendar year, you know, I mean, you know, the state calendar year, which is June 30th. So uh, with that, we wanna make sure that uh, we're ready to go. And so we wanna make sure that the departments have the necessary uh, tools to complete that uh, analysis and, of the items that they need to correct. And so since that time, we created uh, the COA Open Transaction Report um, that was associated um, with the chart field request page that was also set up back in around April of this year. So now that we have the report for departments to do the analysis, we are ready to start that. We waited till after the year end for hopefully most of the departments to get through the majority of their financial reporting uh, efforts. So that's why we are starting now, but we wanted to make sure that departments had plenty of time to get those uh, corrections made prior to June 30th. Thank you very much, Tom. And I understand, Jay, you're gonna take us through the presentation. Yes, Take I am. It away. Thank you, Jim. So uh, the main tool that we're going to be using for cleaning up transactions associated with the alt account uh, cleanup effort is going to be under main menu, fiscal processes, fiscal reports, GL reports, and it's going to be COA open trans item. These are going to show all the open transactions in the system that have still have the old statewide alt account value of the 10 zeros on it. You're going to need to either create a new run control if you don't have one or find an existing value that you've already done for running this report. In this case, we're going to do add a new one. In there, you're going to put in your business unit. You're going to choose the chart field name, alt account. And then the value you're going to put in the 10 zeros, which is the old statewide value. You're going to save it and you're going to go ahead and run. And when we run this item, we're going to make sure where the format is in Excel. That way we're able to filter and do a few things with it uh, as you divvy it up and cut it up into um, different sections within your department. We're going to let this run for a little bit. And once we get a successful run, we're going to open up in Project Manager. Right now, we'll just check the process monitor, make sure it's ticked off and running. I like to do a little trick, go back out and then go back in and, and usually it starts running. There it goes. Told you. <laughs> Works every time. Nothing like those uh, tips and tricks, huh, Tom? Well, you know, it, it might be, it just makes the user feel better if you see it moving along. <laughs> Beats that uh, circle, right? Yes. Yeah, and it's done. All right. So now the report is ran successfully. So we're going to pull it up under um, report manager. And when we pull up, like I said, it's going to come in Excel format. For now, we're just going to kind of save it off and open it. And what I'd like to do first is, is to open up the, um, the spreadsheet and then put a filter on line six, as we've done here on the Excel. And as you can see, there's going to be multiple different modules um, that have transactions out there. Our main focus for today and for departments to focus getting resolved would be your AR items, your POs, and your requisitions. And the reason for that is, is those items are in the very beginning of the transaction, and then other transactions are results of those. When you put in a purchase order, you're going to do a voucher, and the voucher then copies from the purchase order into the into the voucher and then when the voucher gets processed it gets, turns into a journal entry into general ledger so we want to make sure we take care of the transactions in bulk that are at the very beginning that have downstream impacts 
So right now we're going to focus on AR and PO. In the example for PO, you're going to get a list here of, of POs that are currently still open, open transactions report. It's, they're still active out there. First thing you're going to need to do is evaluate whether or not these transactions or these POs in this case are valid. Are you still using these POs? Have, do these POs need to be closed? If the, if the effort is that we are no longer going to be using these POs, then you need to go through the mechanism to close the PO and close all the lines on the PO. And that will make these items drop off of this report. If, the, if we deem that these POs are still ex, are still good and valid for the year and we still need to transact on them, then we need to take corrective action on the PO itself through a change order to then adjust the distribution lines from the alt account default value of 10 zeros to the new appropriate alt account value. And we can go a little more details in USL sessions or anything like that if you're not aware of how that happens. Uh, but you would go to the lines and you would move the remaining balance from the line to the new line with the new alt account value. Once that's all cleaned up and, and the old line is closed, then those will also, these items will fall off of this report. So this is the main tool for departments to start the effort in cleaning up items. And like I said, we're going to start with AR, POs, and requisitions first because they have downstream impacts. As we get later into the cleanup efforts, we may start looking into some of the other modules for cleanup efforts like GL and AP and stuff like that. Um, then it may be results of templates or other things that departments or um, staff are using that we want to uh, make sure we change the business process to stop utilizing the zero, 10 zeros. But for now, this is our main focus. So th again, this is the tool for departments. Everybody with the GL viewer role is able to pull up this report and, and get the items. And this is where a department would want to start to clean up the efforts. Great, thank you very much for that information. Tom, do you have anything else you would like to add? Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, we just would, um, you know, the questions I think would be best if you route it through your uh, readiness coordinator. Uh, but if, you know, uh, there are additional uh, items that need to be addressed, like Jay was mentioning, where you may need some more detailed questions and maybe even shown it through a USL session, um, yes, we will definitely meet with those departments as uh, as needed. Okay, so departments, if you do have any other questions regarding this, you can always contact your RC and let them know and they can get you taken care of. And also, I know that the USLs have been very helpful and their the forms are available for those. And if you don't know where those are, again, you can always ask your RC to get that taken care of for you. So Tom and Jay, thanks very much for being here. Uh, I would just like to say that uh, the communication for this, if departments haven't seen it already, it should be coming soon. Uh, and we will keep you updated about that and uh, keep an eye out for it if you haven't seen it already. So thanks again, you guys, for being here with us. We always appreciate uh, the information that you can pass along. Thank you, Jim.